So here we are, two and a half months later after the release of Nintendo Switch. And where is the third part support? Hmm. Where are they? Killing is making a choice. Where are they? Let's see. We got a bunch of uh, what uh, indie games. We got Mr. Shifty, Mr. Bomberman, a bunch of bullshit like that. I guess they just got uh, NBA Playgrounds, twenty dollar game for uh, they're at least on all platforms. So I guess that's a third party game. But no major AAA third party title games <clears throat> announced yet. They got ARMS coming out and uh, Super Mario Odyssey and you know, all their first party titles. But something I've been saying since the beginning, since I heard about this bullshit. And, you know, I'm seeing all these articles and shit about, uh, you know, they're asking the, these developers, oh, how about Overwatch on the Switch? No. He says, I don't think it's possible. Uh, Call of Duty, uh, Activision and whatnot. No. Uh, what's the other one? Um, South Park Fraction Butt Hole. No. Uh, there's a thing about people say, oh, Bungie confirms Destiny 2 has no plans for the Switch. No shit. No. You're not getting any third party triple A games on the Switch. A, it can't fucking run them. And then B, even if, you know, I'm sure they could probably port a shitty, like, watered down version of this game to that console. But they're not going to. They're not going to take the time to do it. And they don't think the customer base is there. And people's argument to this is, oh, if it sells well, they make games for it. Okay, there's some truth to that. And something that's selling well, at a certain point, you know, developers can't ignore that. But there, that's not the case for Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch is, is going to be so hard to develop for, they got to make it compatible with the Joy-Cons and, the, you know, and just all their different, all that different bullshit. Plus, a lot of these games are... Nowadays, a lot of these AAA games people buy solely for multiplayer. Call of Duty is solely, you know, people buy that. People play the campaign, but people buy that mainly for um, PvP. Uh, Destiny, same thing. PV, PvP, raids and shit like that. Uh, you know, what? What? Uh, South Park, you know, can be, that's, you know story driven game that that could, that, that could probably work on. I don't see why it couldn't be on there. But, you know, they can't even get that. Ubisoft's like, not, not even going to fuck with them. So, there's been no. I want you guys to listen to me. I mean, I know but people who probably watch me ever notice. For, for those of you who don't know me, I've been saying this. Look at me. Nintendo Switch is not getting any major third party games ever. Ever now, I know the Wii U maybe got what like Watch Dogs 2 and uh, Call of Duty, whatever it was, and they're 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 you know they're kind of shitty ports, they ran. You know, but nobody bought them, and uh, some some developers took a chance on that on the Wii U, but guess what? They didn't sell any fucking games. They didn't make any money, so they said, "Fuck that, we're not doing it anymore." I don't no, no, fuck no. with you. So I promise you, Destiny Two is not coming to Switch. I know uh, there's you know, reports about um, Call of Duty people meeting with meeting with um, Nintendo. It's not gonna be Call of Duty World War Two. It might be some some other knockoff bullshit, some like cheap, like almost like a phone game or something like that. But you guys gotta understand. If you bought the Switch, I'm sorry. If uh, if you thought you were gonna get third party games, now do I think it'd be a great day? Yeah, I would love to be able to play. Uh, if I I would, I'd love to be able to play Call of Duty on a, on the Switch or you know, Resident Evil Seven or Outlast Two. All these games I play here, and, I'm, uh, and I, I take my drive my bus ride to work. I'd love to be able to uh, throw up Outlast Two um, on my Switch or uh, you know the new Star Wars Battlefront Two on the Switch. And that's not coming on the Switch either. I would love to be able to do that, but it's not going to happen, guys. I wish Xbox or PS uh, PlayStation, PlayStation would make something similar to the Switch. I'd buy that in a heartbeat. Something I could I could play, you know, all my major AAA games on. But it's not gonna fucking happen. They're relying solely on first party titles. You got Super Mario Odyssey, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, all these first party Mario game uh, first first party title games are gonna keep them alive for a little bit. But believe me, the hype is gonna die out pretty soon here. And people are starting to see. They're interviewing all of these developers and are all saying the same thing. Some of them be, some, be, some be nice about it. I forget who the one developer was. 
he he straight out said fuck no. Uh, he laughed at me. He's like, nope, that's not gonna that's not gonna happen. He 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 laughed it off. There's no way it's gonna happen. Not up in here. Start being nice about. Oh well, we haven't considered it, but we're you know we're not rolling it out. They're not gonna fucking do it. And the main reason is because it's not powerful enough. Nintendo should put all their eggs in the basket. Made a powerful console that was uh, capable of competing with uh, Xbox and Sony um, and PlayStation, and you know, some a powerhouse. You know, people don't really care. I know most people don't really care about the portable aspect of gaming. You know, most of us are adults now. We don't care about uh, you know taking a game on the go. It's nice, it's nice to be able to do that, but you know, we still want to play the major major AAA games. Now, if you're a strictly Nintendo person. And you bought the Switch, you know, just to play Nintendo games. Cool. As I, as I said before, that you know, Nintendo Switch is going to be a secondary console. It's going to be a backup to either your PC, Xbox, or PS4. Because if you're a real gamer, you want to play all the new releases, like you know what your your Halos and your Mass Effects and shit like that, Call of Duty, Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption Two. You you need a PC, Xbox, or PS4. It's just the way it is. None of that shit's ever ever coming to Switch ever, fucking ever. Understand? You understand? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? It's not going to happen. And I'll bite my words. If, if they release a, a port night, yeah, even a port. If they, if they even release a port of a full game like Call of Duty or something, some made AAA title to that, I'll bite my tongue. You know, because maybe that's getting some third party support. Now, they're still gonna charge sixty fucking dollars for that game, which is ridiculous because it's be way watered down, not have uh, nearly, uh, you know, the graphic uh, capability or the features that are in the um, Xbox, PS4, or PC version. But I'll bite my tongue if that happens. But I would put my house on it, my house. That does not happen. I graduate my house is only worth about 70, 70 G's, but <laughs> I would do that. I'm that confident it's never gonna fucking happen. But that's it, for, that's it for me, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.